How's it going fish fam? Welcome back to a brand new video. If this is your first time checking out the channel, what's up? My name is Gabe. You can also find me at Spartanfish pretty much everywhere on the internet. So I, I like how they kind of set the table a little bit for like why Wiper is so much more passionate about this seemingly than everyone else is. You know, hearing the story of Calgara and Nolan and hearing about how, you know, someone from the outside like loved their culture so much that he was willing to, you know, die. His family's been shamed uh, pretty much globally for hundreds of years uh, because of how much he cared about their culture and the friendship that he had with Calgara. Even if Luffy beats him in a one-on-one -on -one fight, based off of what Eneru said, this shit's just gonna happen regardless. Like, outside of him, everything he's already done up to this point is just going to continue to destroy the landscape of Skypea, of Sky Island, of Angel Island, everything that's floating is, is just gonna get blown up by these massive thunderclouds, regardless of if Eneru is stopped or not. So I really don't know what's going to happen from this point on or how this arc is going to conclude. I, I know we're getting pretty close to the end though. I think there's gonna be like three more videos in total of this arc. And then I will put out like my arc review video, make a, another like character tier list video based off of Skypea. Yeah, just continue on the journey from there. Uh, from everything I've heard, I know the arc after Skypea is pretty popular. Uh, but you know, we're still here. We still got a few more fights to go through. So let's just get into it. Sorry, I don't know if you guys can see it on your end, um, but there's a bunch of extra shit kind of scattered all over the place because we're moving. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've told you guys about that uh, enough times at this point, but we're moving, so there's a lot of shit all over the place. It's all the way up there. All the fucking way. Well, because why else would he be going up there then? He, there's no other reason for him to go up there. Yes, 100%. Listen, at this point, Usopp should be used to people just ignoring the shit that he says, you know? I like how it gave us everyone else's internal dialogue, and then it cuts to Zoro, and he's just like, nothing. Bro is just jogging up there. <laughs> He's on his way. Out of everything he's done, this is not that impressive by comparison. Yep. Using his fucking grippers to climb his way up. He split the fucking beanstalk, yeah? I mean, I guess that's kind of convenient, no? <laughs> yeah, l based on everything they already told us in the previous episodes about using, the, like, the rejection dial, like, he should just be fucking dead, right? Like, he should have just died. <laughs> I think every time it cuts to Zoro, it's just us, like, seeing Zoro go like, damn, I kind of fuck with this guy. He's mentally tough. I kind of fuck with that. Like, I could be wrong, but it just kind of seems like that's the vibe he's giving off. Ah, just to go blast some fucking people who are just minding their business, having a nice, normal Tuesday afternoon. Bro, what the fuck? Is he just bouncing that shit? He's gonna use it to, like... Rocket himself up. Yep. <laughs> Just shoot the ball so it carries his ass back up. So did Nami not see the fucking beanstalk just fall out of the goddamn sky? And I know a bunch of you have mentioned it to me in my Don Da Don reactions. Yes, I am aware that Luffy's VA voices Turbo Granny. And it is... 
It, it's so fucking funny to me. Yep. He's just doing demon shit. Gonna go kill some fucking random civilians. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's bad news, you think? I mean, it is, but like, how the fuck does she know that? It's not like she has a barometer over there. It's, he's pretty much going to do the same thing, but this time it's it's a ball. Um, so he's, he's going to do lightning again, but this time it's like a big lightning ball. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Bro, he is really just doing this based off of ego alone. He's like, yeah, I have to kill everyone, because I am God and you guys aren't, so get the fuck out of my sky. Just, just full ego. Like, it, until I get a backstory or more information on his backstory, I, th like, that's all I can assume. Yeah, you see what I said? It's like what he's been doing. It's lightning, but it's in a ball. Yeah, that's how it should be. Completely fucking empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's empty it of these sick freaks. They're breathing up my air. Taking up my oxygen. Using my clouds. He's... A pretty fucking cruel person. And I say person. Because, uh... That's what the fuck he is. He's just a regular ass dude with lightning powers. Yep. He has to beat some ass! Uh, Nami, you know him well enough to know that he's not just doing it for the gold. You know damn well he's not just doing it for the gold. And if you don't, how do you not know that at this point? Yep. He's doing it for fucking Noland, bro. Yep. Or I, I guess Cricket now, but like... To prove that Nolan wasn't lying. Yeah. Cricket helped you guys. So if you can prove that Nolan wasn't lying. Mm. Yeah, brother is getting pretty low into the ocean. He's getting the bends for sure. Not from anywhere, but I, I get what the fuck he's saying. You're not gonna be the fucking semantics police of One Piece dialogue. Man, I forgot that happened. This is, it's it's been a fucking minute, you know. Yeah, like Zoro just knows Luffy too fucking well. Well, I mean, if if they blew up the fucking beanstalk, wouldn't it be down there where, like, the rest of the beanstalk fell? Like, what's the point of going up further? He's a pirate, bro. He doesn't ask for permission. But he also should have known that that's what was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, he definitely should have known that that's what was going to happen if he tried to get on the boat. Hey, bro. They're gonna get your ass. What do you mean by that? I kind of understand his, like, motivations a little bit better now. That, that doesn't mean they're good. And I don't mean good, like, ethically or morally. We already knew that Enaru was neither of those things. It's so stupid that he's going through all of this just, like, to pat his own ego, you know what I mean? Like, that shit's goofy as hell. Yeah. Like, they for sure... Luffy needed Zoro to be awake when he was down there. Like, that's what he needed. So Zoro could have cut that shit off his arm. Yeah, Enaru calls himself a god, but at the end of the day, man... He's basically just a piece of shit. Like, that's... It is what it is, you know? Much to the disappointment of my family. I'm pretty unreligious. That being said, you know, I read a lot of information about religion. Enaru is definitely behaving how traditionally 
gods within religions act. Generally speaking, I mean, depending on like what religion we're specifically talking about, but generally speaking, gods are usually real fucking petty. You know what I mean? As far as like the title of God goes, uh, Eneru is definitely acting within that title for sure. He's being a piece of shit. He's petty as hell. Um, has a massive giant fucking ego that he's taking out on everyone else because of the level of damage and destruction like Eneru has brought to everyone any type of success that I can imagine happening within the remainder of this arc it's gonna feel kind of empty you know what I mean because there's there's so little that they can do in terms of success like the levels of destruction and trauma that Eneru have brought to all of these people even what I imagine is going to happen, if we have a like good positive ending this arc, is all of the Shandians are going to like come together with the Sky People. You know, we're all gonna sing Kumbaya. Um, we're gonna ring the bell. Everyone, you know, down on the ground is gonna hear the bell going off. Like that's not gonna repair everything that's been broken. Granted, that can happen over time, but like centuries of building and progress like they're just kind of fucked you know i don't know man we're we're pretty fucked here uh but i still need to see eneru get his ass beat so let's just go to the next one damn who let this bitch on the boats who let that bitch on the boats throw her overboard bro yeah you guys you guys just gotta go. You gotta save the people that you can save at this point. Because everything else is just fucked. At this point in time, there is a limit to the amount of people that you can save. You just gotta do what you can and get the fuck out. Yeah, because he's gonna come after you guys regardless. So you gotta do your best to do what you can. Yeah, that, that's your homie. That's the guy you were helping. You can already see the comment. Don't be mean to Amazon. <laughs> Fuck that old bitch. Bro, he's such a scumbag. Everything is just about his fucking, like, ego and patting his own ego. Even finding, like, this ancient fucking relic from hundreds of years ago. He's like, ah, yeah. All for me, baby. Alright, but now he's distracted. So Luffy's gonna be able to, like, grip his way up there. When is Zoro gonna magic his way up there and just cut this gold ball in half? It's not that powerful, bro. Yeah, ain't no way the fucking waver can lift that golden ball. Are you sure about that? Bro is struggling, trying to find any way. Luffy just fucking struggling. Is she actually just gonna have the same idea I do? All right, let's get Zoro to cut this thing off. Nope. And then he can just rocket his way up here. Nope. Bro. Bro. Oh, it's a big ass leap. Never mind. I thought it was Luffy falling from the sky. Ah. All right, Zoro. All right, Zoro, get to work, buddy. Bro, she drew you a fucking map, dingus. Oh my god. She she fucking knew how stupid they were, so she just drew a map. Bro is making another giant lightning ball to fucking just mutilate everyone who's left alive. Yeah, that's pretty fucking big, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't even... I, I'm trying to, like, use the boat as comparison to try and, like, figure out like roughly mathematically how big that is i i i don't even fucking know it's at at least a few fucking miles wide nami's really uh she's like turning over i, I mean it's been happening slowly over the course of the story but she's like turning over a new leaf you know what i mean like personality wise She's becoming a lot more, like, strong of a person, but she's also sacrificed more to a certain degree to help other people. Especially, like, the crew. 
Whereas that was never the case before. It's not that it was never the case, it's that it was to a much lesser degree. Because I know someone's gonna freak out in the comments and be like, Well, when she left them, she was sacrificing for them. Bro, at what point is Robin going to learn the other crew members' names? He's got this, bro. He's got it. Just have faith in Zoro. You have to know that he's gonna do it. Damn. He waited for him to be midair. Is he gonna use the rejection dial? Alright, if he uses the rejection dial in this way, then he definitely dies. Nope. Usopp, there's 0% chance Usopp is the one who brings this down. No fucking way. Maybe Usopp, maybe at the end of this, Usopp is gonna pretend like he's the one who brought it down, but no fucking way he's the one who brings it down. Yeah, no, he's low-key, a little bit nuts, a little bit fucking crazy. No, do not make me depressed because of the snake being depressed, bro. Oh shit. Is the snake the one who takes it out? Usopp's like, all me, brother. All me. Yep. I was, okay. I, I wasn't wrong. It is going to be Wiper with the rejection dial. I sound like I'm playing a fucking game of Clue. Yep. Damn. I'm... Assuming that'll kill Wiper. Nope. So are they just using the fucking beanstalk as a ramp? They're just gonna evil Knievel this shit? Yeah, they're just straight evil Knieveling this shit. Ain't no way we're not making it after all this. Yeah. Best of luck, bro. He's still made of rubber. Yeah, like what the fuck is she supposed to do, bro? You gotta cut off Luffy's arm so we can go faster, you know? That's the only way. I, I don't think there's anyone who's gonna be able to, like, stop the fall or make it fall slower, you know? He's gonna make it to you, and he's gonna beat your ass. I hope you know this. Uh, I gotta eat some food, so I'm gonna keep this brief, but within these next two episodes, Eneru is catching fucking hands. Mark my fucking words, Eneru is catching Luffy's hands. How Luffy is gonna get that golden ball- I, I don't know how Luffy's gonna beat Eneru with the fucking like golden ball attached to his arm. I'm assuming something is going to happen that is going to either allow him to get that off or some way shape and form some miracle luffy is going to be able to just beat his ass with a giant conductive piece of metal stuck to his body lately every time i'm talking about what's going on in the animes i'm watching i feel like i'm describing like some sort of a fever dream that i've had i think compared to alabasta this arc is kind of like all over the place as far as what my expectations have been versus like what's been happening it's just been a crazy fucking shit show since like minute one i'm kind of here for it i'm assuming skypea is probably at the bottom of the first four arcs of one piece but again i don't fucking know anything not a lot of uh not a lot of activity not a lot of views nobody seems to be sharing it in their discord gooning servers very upsetting to me personally but I'm curious to know, you know, how does the next arc kind of compare to Skypea? 
how does Skypea kind of compare to you know where we've been, where we're going. Just a quick reminder, we are doing One Piece, Tuesdays and Thursdays. We got Don Don coming out on Fridays. We got Blue Lock coming out on Saturdays. In case it wasn't clear, uh, during the month of October, instead of doing a movie of the month, I'm watching Uzumaki. Um, I also, I was considering, I wanted to do Shangri-La Frontier on Sundays, but I, I think given what's going on right now in my personal life in terms of like moving and all that shit, I don't know that I can start it right now. What I might end up doing is still like recording, but not necessarily posting it until a later date. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If there are enough people who really enjoy Shangri-La Frontier as much as I do, then I'd definitely be willing to do it. And if any of that is of interest to you, don't forget to hit the subscription button down below. Make sure you tap the notification bell so you're notified the next time I post a reaction video. And I'll see you on the next one.